job next week. She was sitting in her car right in front of her house with her cousins, and she was shot there. And for what? Tu ex nunca no. Entonces, no, ya perdieron. No, no, no. Ya necesito una respuesta. No, nunca termines con tu ex. Ay. ¿Qué pasa? <risa> nunca juegues con extraños, era la respuesta no, correcta. Nunca termines con tu ex. Ay. ¿Qué pasa? <risa> Center stage, you need to deliver. Give oh. me in the first half. When you see 16 points and a half, that's not bad. Now he and the bench. We've been waiting for this segment all morning long. We are rolling out the red carpet, not for Tucker, but for some adorable, <laughs> adoptable dogs. And every year, the Best Friends Animal Society helps cats and dogs who are stuck in animal shelters find homes. Carl, thanks so much. Uh, last day. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, Hillary, uh, Hillary Clinton campaign. Last year's fantasy bra was valued at two million dollars. For most guys, a fantasy bra is one they can actually unhook. <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't know. <laughs> the haunted tour through Hampton Roads continues. You can't this morning. say something like that. Expect me to read what's on the TV screen. Fort Monroe. Let's go to uh, Mackenzie Walter live on the peninsula. <laughs> oh. Welcome back. Well, if you haven't heard, new products are being introduced at the Steinhouse Market, and Ansley Watson is there to tell us and taste us. <laughs> Not taste us. <laughs> taste the items. That'd be weird if you tasted us, Ansley. Just do the me. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Sam. <laughs> since that day, a year ago to today, have you ever hit anything that you've been throwing at? Funnily enough, I've never willy wanged since then. <laughs> 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 Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pantries. <laughs> I couldn't warn you before I saw it, and I couldn't warn you, Eric. I'm just so. About 175,000 rice and slow cookers are being recalled due to fire and electric shock hazards. <laughs> Just, say, just go ahead and say, just say hello to the internet. Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> I'm trying to get it again. It's all good. Oh, my goodness. See this? Melbourne, Daytona Beach, all the way up to Jacksonville. This moves 20 miles to the west, and you and everyone you know are dead. All of you. Because you can't survive it. It's not possible unless you're very, very lucky. And your kids die, too. It's 6.30, it's Friday the 14th of October. Let's tell you what's coming up on the programme. We're going to be joined by Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. We'll talk to her about plans for a second referendum on independence. I'm sorry, we've uh, very clearly run the wrong pictures of that particular sequence. My apologies there. In Carnival. Victoria Spillabody is out there somewhere, live with all the spectacular characters, Victoria. Devin, Christine, we are right in the middle of this carnival that is now packed with people. Behind me is the main stage. It's playing disco music to go with the 70s and 80s theme, and it's turning into a big dance party. As you can see, we've seen folks in all types of costumes as characters. Take a look. Outside of police headquarters with about 100, 150 people that were having conversations with police. They were tense, but they were still conversations. Things quickly oh, devolved, excuse pushing. me, sir. Things quickly devolved uh, and then got out of control oh, when they came pushing. here. And Don, I'm just going to send it back to you because obviously some people can't behave like adults. Yeah, there's always ignorance wherever you go, so just, just continue to move on. Um, uh, Every Friday 
Friday night for the next 25 weeks, so you're sure to see... There's a lot of commuters coming out on southern trains to Victoria behind me here. Is on the idea that the people on, board in the pussy. on board the train would essentially no longer be involved in opening and closing the guard. Yeah, this, so this much. Awesome. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Now, if hey, you want to... Not this way, not with the head, not this way. Can you turn, please? I think he wants to give you kisses to <laughs> I could watch this forever. Listen, if you want to check out some of these critters for yourself, they're going to be at the Tinley Park Convention Center Saturday and Sunday. Tickets are fixed. Revealed until today. This is what police tell us. Aaron Portlock, who's 26, was at home at this house behind me here in Les Murdy. And uh, a man walked in and shot him in the leg. This completed the refurbishment here, so, you know, as ever, Cup Day, uh, uh, some good luck for some people, bad luck for others. Nine, I think you need to know somebody has lost three dollars. Really? Can you find that for the white right owner? I, I probably wouldn't be able to find it, find them, but if you give it to the no, security guard. No, no, it's important. How dare you? Six points now to lead Canada and the tournament. And we spent so much time talking about how much skill and speed this team has and the offense. Maybe by the time it's over, this team will be known for its defense. Two games in and perfection so far with zero goals against. Yes, and here on the North Cornwall coast, we've seen winds gusting up to 80 miles an hour, leaving uh, a, tra a tree di disfrailed, a tree fallen on the tracks. Sorry, forgive me. We're proud here and show you some of the voters. We've got a lot of Clinton voters over here. We've got some Trump supporters behind us. And what we find is about 50% of this country, 60% of this country, believe that this country will be divided when we wake up tomorrow. And so this is an area, oh, oh no. We've got a voter here from Arkansas. Oh. Oh, a bird pooped on my head. <laughs> oh. Wow, does Wonder Woman have a big year in front of her? 75th anniversary, brand new movie coming out next summer, and she's a UN ambassador? And in 75 years, no telling how many little girls she's inspired to be strong women when they grow up. Absolutely, I'm certainly inspired. Simple as that. Whoa, how'd you do that? Truth lasso, Michaela. Here's a look at your weather headlines. Cooler for today. Big warm up for the weekend. We're going to see 70s on Saturday, 80s by Sunday, and then for Halloween, it's looking pretty good. We're going to notice cooler temperatures, but it'll be nice for this time of year, and it should be dry. Clean sweep across radar, nothing to see all the way across the board. As we widen out the view, you're going to notice a big area of high pressure. It's way over there. That's going to move in, and should it really settle in the sunshine for the next couple of days. So this cold front, that's going to move out. High pressure is going to move in and it's gonna be very nice today, tomorrow, at least the first part of Sunday. But then here comes another cold front, way up there. It's gonna come down, not gonna bring us a chance for rain. But what it is gonna do, it's gonna drop our temperatures a little bit more as we head, say more into Monday. So just in time for Halloween. So as you look at today, we have some clouds out there now. Those clouds are gonna clear out. So we're gonna notice all the sunshine return by this afternoon. It'll still be a little bit breezy. Wind's coming in from the north. That'll keep it a little bit on the cool side, a little chilly side. Not too chilly for my sake, if you know what I mean. Our control room has, I think we can say, locked up on us. So, as a result of that, if we can switch a camera, why don't I walk over here? Because I want to preface a story for 11. So we're going to show the story at 5, and at uh, 11 o'clock tonight, we shall go ahead and tell the story of Sam Weich and what a story it was as... Uh, it turns out he uh, had to have a heart transplant procedure done at 11 tonight, his story, uh, one of survival. I am told due to technical issues, we will simply go ahead and attempt to toss to a, the end of the program commercial break, if that's what my producer is telling me, as sometimes these things tend to happen. While we have the moment and while we are stuck on the air,
And apparently we can't move our cameras. Our cameras are robotic here in the studio yeah. and would move whatever. Should we go to you? I shall also simply say, as um, you talk about getting the floor and getting the keys to the car, uh, we do have a high school uh, red zone coming up tomorrow night. That was going to be mentioned. We also have a store of the week to present to you, and I'll have that for you at 11 o'clock tonight. I would invite my anchor friends to walk over here because the power of the wireless mic allows us to do this. You should never be alone. In time One of the <laughs> modern conveniences in the Now, in the old days, of course, we would have cameras that weren't digitally controlled. Right, However, yeah. we would all be wired into a set and could not all move over here That's like right. this. That's but right. here, standing Things in happen. front of uh, a randomly now placed uh, hockey background. <laughs> We I now, shall let you take we it from We now feel like we're posing for photographs. Yes, or something, yeah. but that's all right. <laughs> we'll get it. Yes. Yeah. Well, the better.